Now that we have our island and we have our water, let's add some palm trees so we can make this scene feel a little bit more alive. I provided them for you on layer two, so you can see three variations of palm tree. And these are Creative Commons Zero uh, that I found online, and you can use them for anything that you'd like. So with this island selected, we're going to be using particles to distribute these trees. So we can do that over in the particle tab and add a new particle system. So the first thing that it's going to do is it's just going to want to drop particles down like so from the mesh. However, we don't want that. We want things to be growing out of this island. So we're going to change this from emitter to hair. And now you can see that our hair is shooting up everywhere. But we don't want palm trees growing in the middle of the ocean. We want them only on top of our island. So what we can do is, again, make sure we have this island selected. We can go into weight paint mode. Now press T to open up that toolbar and change this to add. What we can do is paint a area of warm colors. It's going to transition from warm to cool colors depending on how much weight is in that area. So red means a weight of one, blue means a weight of zero, and anything in between is just sort of a gradation between those two. So what we're painting right now is going to be where we want those trees to be. Now we want them mostly on the outside, but some might be scattered out there. If you accidentally add some where you don't want them, you can switch to the subtract brush and just sort of subtract. You can press F to increase the size of the brush and Shift F to increase or decrease the strength. Okay, that should be good. So let's go back into object mode and now under vertex groups, because that's what we just created with the weight paint. We created a weighted vertex group. We can choose that under density. And now we have them growing only where we need them to be. It looks like we need to subtract a little bit more on the outside. So let's go back into weight paint mode. And with the subtract brush, make sure that we don't have anything out in those areas. I can press Z and go into wireframe view. And that way I can more easily see the mesh without the other objects getting in the way. Now you will notice that uh, my painting is not super detailed, and that's because we don't have a lot of geometry on this mesh. The higher poly the object, the more detail you're going to have. But with this island, we don't really need quite so much. Uh, so this very basic mesh will do just fine. So back in object mode, we can see we have those hairs growing out right there. But let's change those hairs to actual palm trees. Before we do though, we want to decrease the number because these are lots of polygons that we're going to be adding. So just to be safe, let's change this number down to 50. All right, I'll save the file just in case. Now the way that we change these hairs into palm trees is actually under the render settings. So if we go up to render, we can change this from path, which is our hairs. I can change this to group. And I can use the group. It looks like our palm trees are not grouped. So I can just select them one by one, press Control G, and that's going to group them. Uh, you can find that group under the object panel right here. It's just called group, so I'll rename this to palm trees. And now we have a group of objects that we can manipulate in a number of ways. So let's go back to this particle settings tab right there. And under Dupli group, we can now have palm trees. And we have palm trees growing on our island. So that's very cool. However, if we look through our camera view, they look like they're a bit small. We want them to be coming up maybe about there. So let's fix that. Right down here under size, we can just increase the size to say 0.1. Looks a bit too tall. Let's pull that down to 0.8. We can also increase the random size. So maybe if we have a random size of 0.5, we can increase that a little bit higher because the random size is only going to be making them randomly shorter. Uh, it's not going to make them any taller, and it looks quite good. Now, you might notice that everything looks a little bit uniform. Things are facing in the same direction, and there's an evenly distributed amount of these trees. So maybe we want uh, the smaller trees to be more in abundance than the taller trees. So we can do that just by 
using this whole group, or actually, excuse me, this use count checkbox. Once we check that, we have an option down here to increase or decrease the ratio of these trees. So we can see that uh, if we want to increase the amount here, we can increase the count, and now we're going to have more of those tall trees. So I don't really want that, I'll just select these two, and now I have more of those short trees. I can also increase the amount of medium trees, and now we only have a little bit of the tall trees. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, but we want to be able to randomly rotate these, because now they're sort of all facing in the same direction. So to do that, I need to check this advanced checkbox, and that's going to give me all of the options that we normally have for our emitter particles, but it's going to apply them to these hair particles. Uh, so we can use these exact same settings. So now we have this new option here, rotation. I can check that. So even if we increase this random value here, we're not really going to get a lot of results, but this phase actually does make a difference. So the phase is still going to rotate them in the same direction, but it's going to determine where along that axis they are turned. But since we changed that from the default, I can now increase this random value, and all of these trees are going to be rotated in a random direction. Now, I might not like the shape of how these are turning out. Maybe I want the overall island to have a different feel to it, and I want to randomly redistribute these. So right now, it's based on seed zero, and we can just increase this, and every time you change it, you're going to get another random result. So that's very cool, and I happen to like this one a lot better, so let's stick with this. Alright, so now that we have our trees, let's take a look and see how it looks when it's rendered. Alright, the palm trees are looking good. We might want to change the lighting a little bit later just so we can see them more clearly, but they are distributed quite well across this island, and we've learned how to use vertex groups and weighting to apply those trees exactly where we want them to be. Now, because there's so many polygons in this viewport, it's going to be a little bit tough to move around. So I'd select, I'd suggest uh, just checking this eye icon right here, and that's going to turn off the viewport for those particles, and we're not going to be bogged down by them at all. Uh, but they're still going to be, re be rendered when we hit F12 or render out an animation.